I was just happy to be there, drive the bus. Sandra Bullock gave her first interview in over two years to join Keanu Reeves and look back three decades at that damn bus. Keanu, Sandra, truly, thank you so much for taking some time to have this conversation. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having us. The pair zoomed into the 50 miles per hour, the making of a movie hit podcast to reminisce about Speed ahead of its 30th anniversary next month. Happy anniversary, honey. Happy anniversary, honey. <laughs> what, you, what is the 30th anniversary? What is the gift? Uh, Pearl. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, when I first became aware of this interview, my first thought was Alyssa Sanders' first interview since the passing of her partner, Brian Randall, last August. And I thought, well, will that be shoehorning that in here? Like, I mean, obviously it's worth a mention, but uh, yeah, to put it through that kind of lens of that, oh, I don't think that's going to be really appropriate. I was so excited and happy to be there. Well, it turns out that taking this ride down memory lane might have been exactly what Sandra needed. Work in front of the camera needs to take a pause. For how long? I don't know. I don't know. Until I don't feel like I feel now when I'm in front of a camera. In March 2022, when Sandra announced her hiatus from Hollywood after the release of The Lost City, obviously she didn't publicly identify Brian's ALS diagnosis as part of her decision, but she did say that she was hoping to find time to, you know, sort through the blindfolds and the hair gels and the bobcat pretzels and the Mozart's ghost floppy disks. And I had another one, I can't remember it now. What was my other one? Oh, diamond, oh, diamond necklaces that she stole. I almost had them all. I would just love to clean out the basement. You're being literal. I'm literal. I have a room where all my goes for all the years. I want to go through it and I want to see if I remember any of it. Well, Sandra still might have gotten to some of that decluttering. Obviously, the memories that she's been reflecting on over the last nine months have not been, you know, memories from her movie career. So appearing on this podcast to talk about how it all began might not have freed up some basement space, but it did get Sandra incredibly close to her past. I mean, sitting here in the little dark room and listening to you ask these questions and it sort of makes you very nostalgic and allows you to go back and look at that time in a way that I don't think I ever did look back at um, or take inventory of. The talk had to go beyond the bus that launched over that gap in the freeway. And also talk about how it launched Sandra into superstardom. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this was all new to me. Within a few weeks of Speed's success at the box office, Sandra signed on to the low-budget rom-com While You're Sleeping after Julie Roberts, Meg Ryan, and Demi Moore turned the role down. And on a budget of $17 million, it made $182 million. Three months after that, the net cast its dial-up web and made $110 million. We got a movie star, people. Sandra Bullock, While You Were Sleeping. While superstardom happened around her, Sandra just kept on working. I was just a workhorse. I was happy to work. And at that time, I think I was doing one right after the other and just happy to get the jobs and to, to, to be chosen, even if it was number four, to have the jobs. The idea of being that workhorse is something that Sandra brought up in one of her final interviews in March 2022 on CBS Sunday Mornings. Because I was always running. I was always running to the next thing. And now we have a bit more insight into that as to why. I think my blessing was that I just kept working. I didn't know how to say no to the work. And I didn't look at what the, the stuff was that was coming from it because it made me really uncomfortable. Did I really earn this or did I just wear you all down? Um. After four $100 million grossing films in two years, there was that speed bump. You know, we don't have to talk about Speed 2. I've done an entire episode oh, on sweet. Speed 2. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but ironically, when people thought that Sandra's career was sunk, hope floats. And Sandra's never looked back on purpose. And just and keep your head down. You yeah. know, especially for a woman. You know, it's like you go, okay, this is a one-off. I'll probably not work much after this. Yeah, Sandra was well aware that actress's shelf life in Hollywood was 40. And she was 30 when Speed came out. You know, so I just got to keep taking them. Um, and I, something something changed, thankfully. Uh, yeah. And I can still be here. Something changed. You were the change, Sandra. <laughs> this is a special moment for me. The chance to introduce a woman who is at the top of her craft as a performer. 
yet who is perhaps admired even more for who she is as a person. You didn't do it single-handedly, but I mean, yeah, a bunch of actresses right around that 40 mark started producing their own material, like you, Reese, Nicole, uh, Viola, Octavia, JLo, and yeah, to get over that, you know, 40 hump. And I mean, it's one thing to produce your own material, but it has to be hit material. And no one, Sandra, has had more hits than you. Since 2009, at age 45, Sandra's made 12 films. 11 of them were monster hits. I just wanna hold down a job, make some friends. You know, pay my bills. You're not just still here, Sandra. You're the female box office star. Like, you're the one. <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Sandra will turn 60 in July. Do you think her box office reign is over? No. She hasn't announced a return project yet, but she seems to be warming to the idea of returning in front of the camera. Before I die, before I leave this planet, I do think that Keanu and I need to do something uh, in, in front of the camera. Um, are we, you know, in, in wheelchairs or with walkers? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> what? Are we on little scooters at Disneyland? What? Keanu, what? 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 I can't find my chief. Whether the next one be with Keanu or not, Audiences will be clamoring to see Sandra once again, and that's her kind of her business model too. She kind of takes a few years off and then people miss her. And yeah, she has another hit movie. You can't spend your life in the bathtub drinking Chardonnay with eyes. I remember what I said, I thought it would be quite a stretch to make the connection between, yeah, this podcast interview talking about speed with this being her first interview since the death of Brian last August. Well, thank, thank you, you for, for taking me down memory lane. I mean, I realize how much I block out and it's nice to reflect on something that's sweet. Um, there's not a lot of sweet, but I just now I'm sort of filled with like a full heart. I'm like, it's, it's like a little weepy, you know, it's, it was a good time. It was a really good time. And we were very lucky. I was very lucky on many levels. I'll just leave it at that. What are your thoughts? But thanks for doing this. Yeah. This is awesome.